Masked practice. It says it might sound you practice things a whole bunch. Um, now, behavior change technique for self-management. I get a little wishy-washy on this one, folks. Um, I'm not completely supportive of mass practice based on prior experience. Um, so mass practice, basically engage in the problem behavior a whole bunch. And I mean a ton. And there's a lot of reasons why this might work. But um, a whole bunch of engaging in the problem behavior has the potential to reduce the frequency of that behavior in the future. I'm not going to get into the why. You need to like read all of all the books to understand why or just pick up one chapter of one book. I'm not going to tell you which one. Cooper here. Anyway. <coughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I didn't say anything. Um, so it, it sometimes decreases behavior, right? Let me give you an example that everybody knows about. Smoking, cigarettes, right? So smoke a whole bunch. That's not really a mass practice attempt. It, it is... It is mass practice, but there's a whole responding conditioning thing going on there where you're going to get sick and that's going to make the whole thing aversive. Uh, but think about it in terms of behavior. If I swear a lot, oh, fuck yeah, fuck me, fuck this, fuck that, fuck that, fuck a Z, fuck a Z, fuck a A, fuck a B, you know, all those different things. You could do the F, drop the F-bomb a bazillion times and, and hopefully it will reduce the frequency of that in the future. Um, again, it's a this is a work sometimes, doesn't work other times. Give it a shot, especially if the behavior is not something that's going to cause harm or too much harm. Uh, if it is something that's going to cause a lot of harm, then I wouldn't engage in mass practice. That's just, you, you can see the look on my face. I'm just not a big fan of it. I, I get that it's a technique that you can use, but not for me. Maybe it is. You never know. Try it. Find out for yourself. It's an empirical question. Maybe it'll work for you. Bye.